Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my Southern style blueberry cobbler from scratch. Now, it has a top and a bottom crust, and it's made with fresh blueberries, so it's very similar to a pie. Now, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't make some homemade vanilla ice cream to go right along with the cobbler. All right. This recipe calls for about eight servings of blueberry cobbler, wonderful blueberry flavor, sweet, a little tart, but it's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all you need to make your Southern style blueberry cobbler. Let's get started with our ingredients. You will need two pints of fresh blueberries, one medium sized lemon, one large egg at room temperature, all purpose flour, sugar, salt, unsalted butter cold, butter flavored vegetable shortening cold, and some vanilla extract. And for your tools, you'll need a rolling pin, a food processor. Now, if you don't have this, you can use a regular standard pastry cutter, a pastry brush, and to bake your cobbler, you will need a nine inch round deep dish pie pan. Now, you can also use a regular standard square eight by eight inch cake pan as well, okay? And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So we're gonna get started by making our top and our bottom crust for our blueberry cobbler. So in this food processor, remember you can use a pastry cutter if you like. I'm gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna just pulse this about two to three times. All right, that looks good. Okay, next here I have uh, six tablespoons of unsalted butter and six tablespoons of butter flavored vegetable shortening and both are cold. I'm just gonna add that in now. Pulse this about eight to 10 times. All right, that looks good. All right, next I'm gonna transfer my flour mixture into this medium sized bowl. And from there, I'm going to add one third cup of cold water. I take my spoon and just give this a quick stir. I'm going to stir this until the mixture forms a dough. All right, our mixture has started to come together. I'm gonna to take my hands, make sure your hands are washed and cleaned, and I'm going to form this into a dough. It's really simple. Now I'm gonna just knead this a little bit, maybe like for 30 seconds, just like that. And there we go, our dough is ready. I'm going to place this into my refrigerator for about 15 minutes. All right, let's get started with making our filling. It's uh, real simple. So we're going to add two pints of our fresh blueberries into this mesh strainer. And from there, I'm going to rinse the blueberries off with cold water. Oh, and I want to let y'all know that sometimes the blueberries could have this little stem on it. You could just pull that off. I just leave them on sometimes. I'm going to be all right. I'll live. All right, let's assemble our blueberry filling. So in this medium sized bowl, I'm gonna add my two pints of cold blueberries right on in there. And to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, here we have our medium sized lemon. I'm just going to cut this in half. Next, here I have my lemon. I did remove the seeds out of it. Just squeeze a little bit of that in there. One tablespoon of melted unsalted butter. One teaspoon of all-purpose flour and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Stir all your ingredients together. Make sure you stir this very well. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna set this on the side while we assemble the crust. All right, here we have our uh, crust for our blueberry cobbler. Place it in our refrigerator for about 15 minutes. 
So now you want to make sure that it's nice and shaped up and everything looks even. And from there, you're just going to take a knife, you're going to place it at the center point, And from there, you just take your knife and just cut straight down into the dough. And there we have it. We have two halves. So this is going to be for our top crust. And this one's going to be for our bottom crust. Okay, next I'm going to lightly flour the surface of my table. Add the first half of the dough on top of the table. This is going to be the bottom crust here. And from there, we're just going to press it down with our hand. From there, we're going to add more flour on top. Okay, next I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to roll this out into a 9 inch in diameter circle. Should be about the same width of the pie pan as you see here. Looks good. From there, I'm just going to pick the uh, crust up with my hands. From there, I'm going to carefully place it into the pie pan. From there, I'm just going to take my hands and I'm just going to carefully spread the crust out along the bottom and onto the sides of the pie pan. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. Do it the best way you can. Okay, here I have a large fork. And from there, I'm just going to take the fork and I'm going to poke holes into the bottom of the crust. This will prevent the uh, crust from bubbling up during the baking process. And from there, I'm just going to take this and set this on the side while we make the top crust. You can also place this into your refrigerator or freezer if you want to make your cobbler at a later time. Okay, as you can see here, we already have flour on the surface of my table, but again, I'm going to go ahead and lightly flour it over again. And from there, I'm going to add the second half. This is the top. This is going to be the top crust for our cobbler. I'm just going to take my hands and I'm going to press the dough down, forming a flat circle. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on top. And from there, I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to roll this out into a nine inch in diameter circle. All right, that looks good. Okay, we're going to let that sit right there for now. And we're going to focus on the uh, pie crust that's already in the pie pan. All right, here we have our blueberry filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this one last final quick stir. And from there, I'm going to add it into the pie pan. Make sure you use a spatula to get that all in there. And from there, just carefully spread the filling around the baking pan as evenly as possible. All right, and from there, we're just going to shake it a little bit. Just to make everything even because remember they have juices at the bottom so you just want to shake it nice and even and from there I'm just going to carefully pick up the pie crust this is the top portion right here and from there I'm just going to place that right on top from there I'm just going to take my hands and just press that down on in there very gently not too rough some little excess right here. I'm going to take some kitchen scissors and just trim that off. Now we're going to create a seal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to seal the crust into the pan. Now what we're doing, we're taking our fingers and we're just pushing them on in there just like that. Push it on in, right here, push it on in, right here, push it on in, again, push it on in, and there we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 375 degrees. All right, now for the fun part. We're going to go ahead and decorate it so that way when the pie bakes, the steam can escape during the baking process. Now you can do this two different ways. You can uh, take a... a a knife and put a hole in the center and from there you can just take a knife after you made the center point and you can just cut about four slits into the top of the pie crust and then from there you can open the slits 
by moving the uh, the knife to the left or the right to open them up. So that way some of the steam can escape. Okay. But as for me, I have a little more simpler method. Here I have a large fork and it's the same process like when we were, uh, like what we did with the bottom crust. I'm going to take the fork and I'm just going to poke holes at the top. Now you want to poke holes at the top of the crust without going toward the edge. Leave about an inch of uh, from the edge from the pie crust. Don't poke holes on the edge of the pie crust. Just poke holes only in the center. Okay, so in this small bowl, here I have one large egg at room temperature. And I whip the egg up really nice with a fork. All right, here I have a pastry brush and I just, I'm just going to lightly dip it in the egg. And from there, I'm just going to lightly coat the top portion of the crust with the egg mixture. And this is going to give our crust a nice golden brown color. Very light, very, very light though. Dump the whole thing on there, just very light coating. And from there, I'm just going to lightly sprinkle some sugar on top. Just a very light coating. And there we go. Now it is ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 375 degree oven. On the middle rack. Bake this for one hour. All right, it's been about one hour now for our cobbler. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. You're gonna let this cool until it's warm or you can let it cool completely before serving. That can take anywhere from about two to three hours. Now as for me, I'm going to let this cool completely, cover it and place it into my refrigerator. And then that way tomorrow I'll try it out. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Southern style blueberry crabbler made by New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Dang it. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. Ice cream starting to melt, but this is how it looks here. All right, let's see how this is. All right, here goes nothing. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's really, really good. It has the right amount of sweetness and the balance of the blueberries. Slightly tart. And the ice cream also combines with it really well. It is comforting and absolutely delicious. So, give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.